Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. So it is currently Sunday the 28th of February 2021. Um, not much to report, I'm currently reading uh, The Tower of the Swallow by Andrei Sapkowski which is Witcher novel number four. And uh, yeah, then after that I'm planning on reading Welcome Descent by Cam Seawolf. So I will get to those soonish. Do excuse me, I've just been eating a donut. It is currently, uh, what, Monday the 1st of March, 9.25 p.m. Uh, I had a call earlier, I did an interview with a guy called Franz Alul, who is a Celtic harper. Uh, a harper is somebody who plays the Celtic harp, and a harpist is somebody who plays an orchestral harp. That's the main takeaway from that. Hey, Biggie. Had a bit of anxiety earlier, but the cat came over to look after me. It's like he knows. I think he does, uh, but now he's going off into the porch, as you do. I'm currently reading Welcome Descent by Cam Wolf, uh, Page Nomad here on Booktube. It's a really well put together indie book. The uh, cover design's great, the interior layout, layout's great, uh, all the text is justified, all of that sort of stuff. Um, I think you can tell it's an indie book, uh, but also, I mean, it's been pretty well edited. I haven't seen any mistakes or anything like that. And uh, you can also see that Cam's a, a Joe Hill fan, but not in a bad way. It's not like a rip-off or anything like that. Uh, although I did think it's funny because um, th th there's a storm throughout this. That's The storm almost becomes a character in itself, you know? And um, that just reminded me of Strange Weather by Joe Hill. But again, it doesn't feel like derivative or anything like that. Uh, I would probably, so far, this is on course for a 3.5 out of 5. I think there might be a, a twist at the end. I don't know, though. So, uh, And I'm only halfway in, so that may go up or down. But uh, enjoying getting back to some indie for now. After I read this, I'm probably going to start reading uh, Unfinished Portrait, it's called, by Mary Westmacott, which is Agatha Christie writing under a pseudonym. And I'm excited to get to that because that will be the final Agatha Christie book for me to read. So I'm going to go and do that and I'm going to do some more editing later and all of that good stuff. Oh, and work-wise, I basically have no work on it except for I'm currently writing copy for uh, the new Art Centre website, so I'm working on that. I got up for two seconds to do some filming and look what happened. You sitting on my towel, aren't you, Biggie? Yes. Hello, it is me. It is currently what? Quarter to 11 on the morning of Tuesday, the 2nd of March. Apparently my battery's on low, although the charger, it, what? I just took it out the charger and the char- and it was full. That's weird. Uh, I haven't slept, I have this big spot on my face there as well, delightful. Uh, currently reading uh, Unfinished Portrait by Agatha Christie. Uh, so I finished reading Welcome to Scent by Cam Wolf. I gave that a 3.5 out of 5. And yeah, Unfinished Portrait, I mean, this is on, on course for 3.5 out of 5 as well. Uh, it's one of Agatha Christie's Mary Westmacott novels. It's actually the final one that I haven't read yet, so excited to be ticking that off. Because once I've read this, I've read every Agatha Christie book. Uh, after that, I'm probably going to read um, The Gods Themselves by Isaac Asimov, because somebody mentioned it was their favourite Isaac Asimov novel, and I think it was a drag queen. So it was probably booktube goddess, but I'm not 100% sure. I remember talking to somebody about the gods themselves, and so uh, that's why I picked it up. And uh, yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to getting to it. I say I picked it up. I bought it. I already had it. I haven't started reading it yet, but it's next on my list to read. Hello, people of the internet. It is your boy, Dane. I have my hair like this because I've just been in the shower, and I have a massive spot on my face, which I'm fairly self-conscious about. But also, I have vi videos and... What the fuck was that? I have videos and books and stuff to talk about. I don't know what that sound was, how weird. It is currently Wednesday, Wednesday the 3rd of March. Yesterday I had quite bad anxiety. I actually had it quite bad in the early afternoon and called my mum and chatted to my mum on the phone and did some colouring in until I calmed down. And then in the evening it came back again, so uh, Susie came over to look after me. Which is why she's not here tonight, because we usually do Wednesdays and weekends, I guess, but this week we're doing Tuesday and Thursday. So she should be over tomorrow and we're gonna have a vegan steak night. Uh, we'll probably read some more of her book. Well, so when she was here yesterday, we basically just got into bed and cuddled up and she was reading some more of Changeless by Gail Carragher, which she's left here. So I guess she's gonna want that. I've just found some cigarette filters in my jeans pockets that I haven't smoked for a month and a half. So that's odd, they've been through the wash. Hey Biggie. Can daddy pick you up? Roar, good boy. Now this one has been being a very good boy, haven't you Biggie? You've been looking after me, haven't you? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna put you down because I know you don't particularly like being picked up. Oh yes. But we'll give him some treats in a minute. Um so that would be nice. And yeah, he was he was looking after me. He's currently actually down there, he's investigating a Doritos bag because he likes packaging. Don't you, Biggie? You like plastic packaging. Uh, where am I book-wise? Uh, I'm currently reading Unfinished Portrait by Agatha Christie still. I should finish that this evening. I had some new books arrive in the post as well, but I think the next one I'm going to read is The Gods Themselves uh, by Isaac Asimov. So I've got that up next. And then possibly after that's the next Andrei Sapkowski Witcher book. We will see. So that's where I'm at. I'm going to go make some food in a second. I have done some editing. And actually, because I slept 14 hours, basically I slept like last night with Susie around and then slept most of the day as well because some like that's one of the things of my anxiety I actually have like two screenshots on my phone which pretty much show what it's like the first is my Fitbit with my heart rate just shooting up to three times its normal size for no reason and the second is the sleep chart that shows I had 14 and a half hours sleep afterwards because it's exhausting as well and that's one of the things that people don't talk about they don't talk about like how tired you feel the day after a panic attack or whatever so yeah, anyway, that's no fun, but I'm doing all right. It's almost the weekend and I'm reading away. So I'm gonna go do that. Yeah, and I got, yeah, as I say, I got like six or seven uploads to format, uh, which is good because I'm currently, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my uploads, I do like a review one day, then a non-review the next day, review one day, blah, 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 etc., etc. And I got lots of reviews uploaded ready to publish, but I've started to run out of non-reviews. Now, because it's the start of a new month, I haven't yet uploaded my, um, uh, my wrap up or my haul. So both of those will be one of those videos and then like reading blogs and stuff and radio shows all count as that but so today i shared one of my songs which was uh which song was it um i'll be mad if you'll be boring i've got like two more unlisted songs ready to release and then uh, a bonus video of when i learned to solve a rubik's cube except it was on the old camera so most of it's blurry so i'm only going to release that if i run out of other shit to release all right hello it's me i'm in quite a good mood today it's friday the what Friday the 5th of March already, this is mad. I'm wearing Professor Lupin. Uh, I have, what have I been reading? I'm reading The Gods Themselves by Isaac Asimov. It's not great to be honest. Uh, I think it was, um, I think it was one of the drag queens. So I think it was Booktube Goddess who said it was their favorite Asimov book. And I'm not really getting it. Although, so it's split into like these th uh, three parts basically. Um, and it tells like the story from these three different points of view. It's very complicated, I'm not going to go into it too much, but just to say that this, the final part is set on the moon, and that's really fascinating. Like, Asimov does a great job of um, writing these like lunar societies, I suppose. Um, so we've sort of seen a lot of the implications of the having less gravity and all of this stuff. So I'm really enjoying that at the moment. Uh, and then after that, oh, what's it called? I'm probably going to pick up this Arthur C. Clarke book, A Fall of Moon Dust. <laughs> But um, I, I pointed this out to Susie yesterday and uh, we were taking the piss a little bit because the blurb is terrible. Let me read it out to you. The most plausible and exciting story of its kind that I have yet read, Dennis Wheatley. The setting of this novel is the moon in the 21st century and it is depicted with brilliant imagination. But the vital core of the book is this. Will the crew and passengers of the dust cruiser Selene, buried 15 metres down in the Sea of Thirst, be rescued before half a dozen possible catastrophes overcome them? As an adventure story of great originality and continuous suspense, there has been little to equal it for years. Hmm. Superbly ingenious and exciting new twists, Daily Express. It does have tiny print though, so I'm going to start reading it, but it might be rubbish, I don't know. But I want to read more Arthur C. Clarke, so... So that's where I'm at. I don't think I have anything to haul for you. Uh, so I'm just going to go on to filming more vlog videos for you guys. Hello everybody. It is Sunday. It's 11.11pm on Sunday the 7th of March. Uh, this weekend Susie came over. We were going to do some filming but I was feeling self-conscious because of my spots and stuff. So uh, Susie started working on a channel trailer video which we're going to do. And then yeah, we've got some other video plans coming soon. It's just a case of as and when we get to film them. 
Uh, we listened to some vinyls and stuff. I've been reading The Plague by Albert Camus and very much enjoying it. I'm nearly at the end now. After that, I'm going to read White Shroud, Poems 1980 to 1985 by Anne Ginsberg, which has just come in the post. So I'm excited about that. I'm currently watching, uh, what's his name? Shirako play Resident Evil 4 on PS5. Uh, and it's quite good because he's not done any commentary over it. So I'm listening to an audiobook at the same time. I'm listening to Stoner by John Williams, which was my book of the year, possibly last year. Uh, with, hence me wanting to reread it. So I'm going to reread Stoner. And then my reread after that is going to be uh, Battle Royale by Kushan Takami. And that's all for videos that we're doing for Lord Literature and Madam Media. So I'm going to love you and leave you here, so thanks as always for watching, don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so what you thought of them, hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video, thanks a lot, bye bye. Hey Biggie, he wants to go outside, daddy's watching, he's watching Resident Evil 4 isn't he, and listening to an audiobook of Stoner, yes.